tell me to get out. Get out. Get out. This, there's no place for YouTube. I'm, oh, wow. Well, I need to properly introduce a new character in On the Land. This is this is Tammy the talking tripod. She she's having an off day. Very off. Very off. And all I'm gonna say is, it's coming up in this video, so I had to introduce it because it's in the background, and you would have asked, asked too many questions. All I'm gonna say is is that Tammy, she's some of you remember her, Tammy in the tripod, uh, the trailer in the tripod. She was in the first talking tripod. Anyway, this is her land. So she was inspired. She's got her cabin over here, which you'll eventually see. Um, but this is a deal she couldn't pass up. And she was really inspired by, she said, I don't know, a, sc a school teacher on Netflix. So this is her project of the month. I'm trying to block the Yes, some school teacher on Netflix. <laughs> she thought, what? What? <laughs> anyway, some of you will get it, some of you won't. And I'm just not gonna explain it. She picked this up. Are you gonna go in and, I won't put you on camera, but you're gonna talk about this, cause I'm not. <laughs> cause I just told them you were inspired by that school teacher. Some people will get it on Netflix. From Breaking Bad, Ding Dong. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, as long as I keep her face off this, I can put her butt on there. <laughs> no, 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 no. So she picked this up. Oh, but, oh, MacGyver's in there. That's what she calls him, MacGyver. He's making all sorts of noise. And this is Wendy, so I'm going to turn this off till I go inside. But I want her to tell you how she came about this this piece this 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 inspirational piece and you guys will just know why her and I are together on this land you'll just know right right now at this very moment you're having an aha moment <laughs> so I just want you to tell them how you came across this piece well come a little bit closer so, so they can I hear you just out driving and I was on a scavenger hunt and I knew I needed a vessel for my next project and so I come across a right vessel of, yeah, a vessel this a vessel. you like, were driving of, so I no no location no location okay so I was in the middle of the desert <laughs> and I was looking at abandoned properties and I drove past this property that had like six mobile home trailers fifth wheels all kinds of just crap which most of us would never walk on exactly and so i just walked up and or drove up and honked my horn and the lady came out and i says is there anything for sale which one is for sale she says well we got this one this one this one i'm like how about that one that old beat up one <laughs> she says how's 500 Wait. okay so the lady's name is gretchen really so sweet. you said what how 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 about Yes, I, she says, how about 500? I said, how about four? She says, sold. And so I gave her a deposit. Did you even know if it ran? Uh, well, she told me it ran, but I didn't care. Yeah. So the funny thing is it has no brakes and no transmission. No brakes and no transmission. But it has a beautiful 454 that runs smooth. So if anyone wants the 454, they can come buy it off you? Sure, why Okay, not? you can have the 454 because it runs really smooth. For a price, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's not free. So anyways, um, and they towed it here with a little pickup truck. They towed it here with a little pickup truck? And it had no brakes, and it was a muddy day, and this thing came bouncing. <laughs> she went like this. I was like bouncing through the desert. No brakes. Everybody had to get out of the way and let the lady use the emergency brake. Long story short, this is where she landed. And she will be a cottage when she's done. And I'm going to insert your picture for the inspiration. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so absolutely. I have that in your text. 
So I just need to, you needed to hear the story because the video's coming up about Dawn. This is in the background. Now I don't have to answer any of the questions, okay? So there you go. There's the meth lab. So she's been, <laughs> she's been gutted and she's being rebuilt. Yes. And now Full I'll go. off grid. Yeah, a beautiful little cottage with a retro theme. She ripped Solar. out the steering wheel. Oh, yeah, took out both seats, captain's seat and the passenger seat. Which is now the bus stop. Yes, it is the bus stop. And then um, we cut out the steering wheel, and now it's a, a full-length couch. A full-length couch. It was a brilliant idea. You guys are going to be so inspired or terrified, one or the other. Utilizing space, very important. Yes. Total project, under 5000 under 5000 including this work right now? Oh, yeah. Okay. Labor, material, Labor everything. materials. Okay, so I'm trying to stand in this shed so that the wind doesn't blow and you guys can hear her. It's going to be a great story now because it's in the background of a lot of videos and pictures, and that's one. And I then, know what it's for. And there's another unit, but we haven't introduced you to that, too. So lots to cover. I'll be, I'm going to go in there and give you a sneak peek of the, not even the before. This is like the after. <laughs> It's, you just have to see the before, right? And I thought I had a lot to do today. No. But what a brilliant idea. Look at this. With, with those windows all cleaned up. Looking at the mountains. And uh, he just built this today. It's going to be that retro 70s theme. Look at that. No little ledge he built today so this is an ongoing project that you guys will have a lot of fun watching I, I don't know maybe maybe not I am going to I'm not going back there this is a 2000 I asked him what year it was he said 2019 yes in his mind <laughs> don't tell me if I'm gonna call me. how much did you pay how much did you pay for that black walnut? For Forty-five a piece? No. Oh, I know what you guys are gonna ask. Why did she have? The, she got this spa thing. You, I might as well start showing you all the junk. She just had it brought out this week. It was it runs, and it runs great. So it's gonna be for her cottage on the deck. Here's one of his little nice inventions in order to level it he just took the tires off and leveled it on the frame isn't that sweet nice yeah so they so when it rains twice a year it'll catch all that rain and that's what we're going to live off of wow i don't know about live off of it i'm just nice what's this oh that's that's beautiful i like is it going to be slotted like that Nice. I just left them loose so it can clean underneath it for now. What's this? Is a huge couch bed. What a brilliant idea! And these huge windows. You never know that you oh yeah, let me sh let me show people. Oh yeah, this is not going anywhere. Uh -oh. But if someone would like to come and buy a 454 engine, right, at a good price, they can come take it out. Yeah, good luck. With that. <laughs> Remember the picture of this? That was that toolbox. Isn't that gorgeous? The patina on that? I just can't stop photographing it. It has such character. Should I open it? Let's see what's in here. Nope. I'm not going to open it. So this is the bus stop. It is so ghetto around here. We're going to have to fix this up. <laughs> because, okay, this is, yeah, this will be my retreat furniture. <laughs> it's, those are clean and comfortable. Uh oh. You told me to get out. Get out. Get out. This, there's no place for YouTube. Oh, wow.
you're going to love her. I met her briefly and she is an off-grid, old-timer, amazing character. <laughs> if we're gonna do something, make sure we do it half back. <laughs> Go through a muddy hole. I know. Then he goes in the pond, and nice clean, and they go. Poof, poof, poof. I know.